pristine here. You're in good hands. I told him to push away from me. We on? You're, listen, you're in charge. <laughs> good evening. Today is November 20th, being 7.03. We can start the Sutton Historical Commission meeting for scheduled for today. <coughs> After I sneeze. Thank you. Bless you. Um, our clerk is not present tonight, and he has uh, two uh, meetings prior. i got to sneeze again. <laughs> That's on cable. Uh, I believe it's our uh, two meetings prior he has uh, the minutes for, but he's not present. So last meeting we were going to approve them, but they weren't present. So it looks like we're going to have three uh, approval of minutes next meeting. I think it's July, August. Well, no, I take that back. Um, it would be um, October. October's September. was last month. We skipped one. We skipped September, I think, didn't we? Uh, no, August, I think. <laughs> anyway. September and July. Yeah. No clerk. <clears throat> Minutes. We skipped the wrong word. What? We skipped the wrong word. Yeah. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> Uh, no clerk, minutes not present. We'll view next meeting. Okay. And having no public forum and no public hearing, no one present, so therefore there'd be neither. Which le leads us right into board business. The, uh, it was brought to the board's attention two meetings ago. And it was discussed last meeting about the recognition of the Pearson family being in the original, uh, I think it's Severy House. Right. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, from the 1700s. I haven't really checked the history on it, but this family's been in the house for over 100 years. Uh, 100 years or one month. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to do some sort of recognition for them. We talked about, uh, Donna was here, we talked about maybe doing a certificate like we were going to do for Manchog. And then I thought maybe a hard plaque would be nice. It was also brought to the attention as a, um, as a uh, what do you call it in the parade there? Uh, Marshall. Marshall, that's it. As, uh, which I think is an outstanding idea. And then we can do something to recognize them at the parade, maybe, at the end of it, the family, or the beginning of the parade. So let's write that down. Do we know the date of the parade? Uh, June 30th with a rain date the following Sunday. Sunday, June 30th, <coughs> rain date the following Sunday. 4 p.m. start. Does it? <coughs> maybe 6. So we do 6 what? June. June 30th mm -hmm. or July 7th? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's the next Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> At 4 p.m.? Hmm? Yeah. How long do they plan on it going? Uh, it's 5, 5.30, and then there's going to be a picnic on the common. Oh. And they've made great inroads to having a fireworks display as well. Yeah, I've heard um, that. Really? Down at the school? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't want to give away too no, much. No, that's good. No, 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 that's good. Beginning at 4 p.m. Uh, goes until 5, 5.30. Mm -hmm. Then there's a dinner. Where is the dinner? Picnic on the common. common. I'm sorry if I'm sniffling. I got a little Details cold. are still being worked out, but that's okay. the... So what do you... Th well, let's forget about the parade now. What are your thoughts if that falls through? Do you want to do just a paper-framed... Recognition or something hard, like a uh, plaque. I stopped by the trophy place in Dudley, but they've relocated. So I have to find out where they relocated. <laughs> I think it's right down the street from the courthouse, too. But what's your thoughts on that? I mean, I have, a, I have a, the ability to be able to pick it up and have one made or something. Um, or is it, or so you're saying something like this... That would be the paper one, paper. <laughs> as compared to a wooden plaque with a metal plate that says something. 
Any thoughts? I'm just wondering if you know something like taking something like the map of Sutton and kind of combining that with something else. For instance, something a little bit more. Yeah. Is there a map with that location? Right. Something. Well, well it should be right. It might be. Then you take you take the map, and then you mm -hmm. enlarge the place. Yeah. Well, yeah, we could take a map. And lodge it, get it to the home, show the home on the map on the area, and then have a dedication under it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Versus just yeah. some plaque that. And there's only been a few families uh, in it that I can think of. As I read, though, there's a nice write up that was provided. I think one thing that probably. <clears throat> should be mentioned is that in this hundred year period there have been six generations of uh, Pierce. Yeah, I, I saw that. Uh, which is you know, starting with Rudy. Rudy. His grandparents, obviously. Well, his grandparents. It's so there's three, and now he's done. 1918, it was sold to Otto and Annie. Yeah. yeah. And Rudy was one of their sons, the youngest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, something to think about. I think the idea of you know, the Marshall I do too. is an excellent one. And they were receptive to that? They were. Oh, I they were. didn't take any official vote, but they were definitely receptive to it. And now that I have more information, I can better present that uh, next Thursday. Mm. Oh, okay. 100 years in the same house. Same house, you know. Whole family. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, just for your background information, Rudy, when I first came to town, was very involved in a lot of the mm -hmm. historical activities of the community. Yes. Um, and, and did that for a number of years until his health precluded him from, uh, you know, like driving and all the meetings at night and all that kind of stuff. So he was an active citizen here. Okay. Well, if that's what we're planning on doing is presenting something, we have time to get it done before June of next year. So that's only, the, the way uh, we're looking at here, that's only six more meetings. <laughs> so I'm open to being contacted off um meeting dates just about this this isn't really i don't think this violates any any uh, rules just to come up with a design plan or a uh, operational plan if he is marshall well like i said i can can you keep up. me posted with that anything else excellent Okay, I was hoping Donna was. Uh, I think we can table that for now, right? Yep. I was hoping Donna was here so we could talk about the Manchog certs. Um, I know she said she had a format that we use for the Sutton Center ones. I saw them. It's just a basic print off, runoff. I know Jim was looking into them. I'm not sure if her and Donna have spoken about it. I know I haven't. I'd like to get on it though. Would have been nice to do it for chain of lights. Just can't. I don't think it would happen that fast. That's only a week away. It's a week away. Well, a week and a half. A week, week and, and a half. half. <laughs> Plus a holiday in the middle. Mm -hmm. you know, and the chain of lights will tie up everybody else's time for a mm -hmm. couple of days anyway. Mm -hmm. So you know where you'll find me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Outside all day. Yeah. Oh, it's supposed to be a lousy day. <laughs> all right. I guess we'll just wait. Um. Are you going to bring the baby? No. Oh. I'm sure he'd be well received, but. <laughs> Too sleepy. <clears throat> uh, anything else about the Manchog certs for? National 
Historic. Okay. Well, has anything been done with looking into, is it West Sutton? Oh. Well, we missed, uh, last meeting we discussed the, let's see if I have it here. Um, survey, uh, last, last meeting we discussed the 2019 round of the survey planning grant, and we had mentioned, um, you know, that West Sutton was still one, as well as uh, bottom of Boston Road there. Wilkes. Wilkes. And I'm sorry. <laughs> it's one of those nights for me. And Wilkes. And I know that we had already started an inventory in Wilkes. We had started uh, some paperwork. Donna had thought that would have been the, the one to do next. And here's the issue. We just got one two years ago that just ended this year. The likelihood of them doing a, a matching grant two years in a row is unlikely, so we thought it would be best to prepare for next year. Uh, Donna thought that our information for the paperwork may be a little outdated. And it may be. I mean, we drove around, took pictures, and I wrote up a lot of properties down there, so hopefully it's still in the file cabinet that we can update it. <laughs> So it looks like um, we'd probably have to wait one more year. And even then, we'd have to go through the process. It would probably be a, a six to eight month process before we even apply. But I'll talk to Jen about it. She's been so busy. Okay, so let me add that. West Sutton Grant. Okay. Anything else about the 2020 Grant West Sutton or Wilkes? No, you weren't. You weren't even around when we started Wilkes, right? Oh uh, well, no, I was not here then. Okay. Uh, I did. There was a, a hearing, but on West Sutton, yeah, but it wasn't posted properly. So I did, I that's did a historic village district right. overlay. Mm -hmm. Right. And I did come up here and I did talk to her nine uh, unit property owners that were present. And, I, um, and of course, again, this is not official because it wasn't, you know, a public meeting. But I, need, I did get the uh, sense of what their opinions were on all of this. Uh, yeah, we just have to make it clear to the, uh, the residents so that they understand that being in a national historic district does not impact no. their properties. They don't have to abide by any rules. It doesn't change zoning. Um, however, what it would do, <coughs> if I'm correct, is not only allow it national recognition as a historic area, but if the state was to, let's say, widen Central Turnpike or add sidewalks or anything, because it's a historic village, it gets a survey impact um, survey mm -hmm. done to it, which would, let's say, they say putting in sidewalks would impact this village too much, or widening the road would impact it too much. Therefore, the um, uh, stor Mass Historic uh, says, sorry. You know, well, we got to come up with a better plan if this is what we're going to do. That's my understanding of it. So, in other words, they would would they say move your house back? So many no, no, so no, 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 no. If anything, they'd thought. say that we can't. They couldn't do the mm -hmm. sidewalks. No, you can't get close. Can't to get it. close to it because some couple houses will right be, there. They'll be in there. Right. Um, powers. So when we did the uh, Sutton Center, there were people thought I don't want to paint my house a certain color. All that was just it has nothing to do with being in a historic district under the National Historic uh, District 
has nothing to do with the local village overlay, which is a zoning issue. Mm -hmm. So I need people just mm -hmm. kind of need to know that that's mm -hmm. two separate parts. Okay. We have no site plan reviews tonight, just so you know. Okay. I checked the box earlier in the week. There was nothing tonight. There was nothing. Sometimes our stuff ends up in Waters Farm or Historical Com um, Society, but there was nothing. Okay. I also went down, we talked last meeting about Tricentennial Park. And I went down there to take a perusal around, and it was very difficult to get to, let alone walk around. There was one, two, three, four, five tractor trailers on the roadways trying to get in there. The little parking lot was full with, a, I'm not going to say that I didn't see any visitors, but you can't cross the bridge. And you could, I don't even know if you can go down the path, because I didn't go down there. I don't even think no. you can go down the path. Yet the parking lot was full, so I think employees are parking over there. It is overgrown. I did talk to Jen. Jen has a personal responsibility um, that she takes on her own to take care of it. I think we got to come up with a little plan. Maybe we, uh, maybe we contact the sheriff's department to go down there and clean it up. Something. We have time because obviously it wouldn't make a difference now over the winter, but I think we should address that in the late winter, early spring. And I told her I'd go down there personally and help her out. Because she says she goes down and does work down there. We had mentioned for the members that weren't present that there's a structure down there that has foundation, structural foundation issues. So, maybe Paul and I can go down and just look at it and see. Wow. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we have to take a strap of iron and tighten it up, and with the ba I don't know. I don't know what it's doing, but I didn't get out, I didn't get out to walk all around because it was just too muddy, dark. No, it's <laughs> rainy. It's Which one? It's fenced. It's lost. Well, first off, there's all construction it's equipment all there for off. working on the bridge, yeah. and all the trucks were parked right up to the edge of that little parking lot, and some in the parking lot. It was just not a. Well, some of that crumbling was taking place before they Prior even started the, that construction. Yeah, so right. That, it has that's nothing something to do with that's been going on for a while. Which so they didn't cause any harm. It just wasn't very inviting. I'll leave it at that word. It has nothing to do with people or the town or anything like that. It's just it's just stuck in a bad spot right now. Has nice it, park that people has it, has it been maintained. When is that construction project supposed to end? I don't I can't remember. Looks like it has a that little. That was a question that was on Facebook today. I noticed actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, I have I to can, dig out I the can files. Go find out, I guess. But have you? They put the steel in there yet? No, there was nothing when I was down. There was still a gap between the two sides. Because I remember when they. But it might have been low. I could have missed it. Well, I didn't no, get out of my car and look, yeah. but I didn't see a bridge. It could be <laughs> things underneath it. Because I remember part of the. One of the meetings I went to when they were discussing building it, the, the crane that's going to put the yeah, steel in. Yeah, we saw that, right? Lowers them right down. It so has, has to be on this, this yeah. you know, by Jane. Mm -hmm. The food. Come I don't on. know how they're going to get they, in there with all they, the There's truck. no way they could have gone across the Depot Street Bridge. It probably wouldn't hold them. Oh, bottom right. line. So they had to stay on this side. You know, plus, if you're going downhill on the other side, yeah. the whole thing, everything might end up in the river. <laughs> well... <laughs> Also, is high water causing problems? Yeah, so they can't the do the proper roaring. Um, just yeah, the yeah. Stone everywhere. They didn't have enough dryness for them to drop the water there. Yeah, no. yeah they might be. Yeah, I don't know. The last time I saw it, they had the piers in, and the only yeah, those are in. The only way I I think that you I can saw. really see it is I go up Blackstone Street and up on the top end to look down, and even then you're feet away from. Right, you got enough room to turn around and go back out, but you cannot go down that hill mm -hmm. towards the bridge because it's all fenced off. So you can't really get close to the site. 
we went over there, we couldn't walk down the path down to the river. We can't, can't do that either. But even on the other side, we really can't do it. It's like bottled up in the brush. Yeah, it's not you know, we had that incident three years ago, I think before you remember where the people that were doing the, uh, the measurements you know, for the bridge where they chopped down all the trees that were on top of the... They the breached the, uh, they breached the, uh, the wall. canal. The canal yeah. wall. But they did a great job. The I mean, state really responded to they that. Did, they did. Kudos. They, they were there within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And they, <laughs> they came up with a plan and they fixed it right away and you yeah. can't even tell. Mm -hmm. That stuff happens. And I think they needed that breach to get down inside yeah. all along the river. Yeah. Other stuff, to yeah. do something near the bottom of the bridge. All right, well, I don't know, you know, if you guys have time, you might want to take a little ride by there. I suggest you do it on a weekend because it's a very busy area. And like I said, the tractor trails were parked on both sides of the street going down towards 122, waiting to get in. Yeah. So I had my old 1937 Pontiac, and I could barely get by. <laughs> That's how tight it was. Okay. Anything else on Tricentennial? Can you talk to Jen when you see her? Because I'd like to see what her responsibilities. If you happen to talk to her, I'll, I plan on taking a day and coming up and going over some things with her. But if you happen, happen to see her, I just, talk to her on a, I know you do. I know you do. So I just want, I feel like she took that on on her own, and I want to just did. see what. She's had a very full plate. With yeah, her. I just want to uh, see what. We can do to help. Which is generally, I say, positive to the Sutton community. The activities that she has been working on are going to be positive to the community in all aspects. <clears throat> all right. About old business. They don't mean me. None. Hearing none. How about new business? I think we covered. I think we covered it. Mm -hmm. I thought we were already on it. Yeah, I think we sort of did. <laughs> we don't get much new business like we used to. No. Used to be a lot. Announcements and correspondence. I checked the box and there was no announcements, correspondence, or site plan reviews for this commission to view. So, how about being 727? Is there a motion? So moved. So motion on the floor to adjoin. All in favor? Second. Second, uh, seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're done. It's 727 cable.